What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto and today is July 11th, the official release date of the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. I just got back from the store picking up my pair and I am so excited to show you guys this sneaker. I'm going to say this right from the start. This is a near perfect sneaker. I'm so excited to break this down and show you guys the sneaker up close as well as on feet and talk a little bit about it. I will say though, I'm not sure we needed this from Nike, but Nike literally knocked it out of the park and it is an awesome, awesome shoe. So again, just excited to show you guys this thing and check it out. So we're going to do a full deep dive into the sneaker like we always do here. And if you guys want to continue to support the channel, the best thing you can do is be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything that I post. I'm always here helping you guys out, deciding which sneakers are hopefully right for you, whether or not, you know, one way or the other, I just want to provide you guys the facts and show you guys what is good and what isn't. Um, so that's what we do here on the channel. I am getting extremely close to my 10,000 subscriber mark here. And as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, I'm going to do a huge, huge giveaway very, very soon. So let's go. Let's, let's get that subscriber mark up. Let's hit 10,000. Let's announce this giveaway. Um, but with that out of the way, let's go and start talking about the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. This thing is really nice. Like I said, it dropped early this morning on July 11th um, for retail price of 170 bucks. It was, you know, pretty limited and still in the wake of kind of some stores opening, some stores not. So a uh, little difficult to get your hands on in all honesty, but a, a really, really good shoe at the end of the day. One that, you know, I'm going to explain why I feel that way. I, I don't really think we needed this shoe from Nike. It's a bit different and looks very similar to the Union Jordan 1s. I'm sure you guys have seen that comparison going around on the internet, but it does look pretty similar to that. It looks pretty similar to other smoke gray colorways of Jordans that have released. I'm going to talk about those. So there's plenty to cover here and so much information. Um, and whatever the case, Nike did their thing. They released a really good shoe and certainly got the hype going around this one and did a very, very good job executing. So let's, let's cut the talk in here. Let's start checking out the shoe. We'll start looking at it up close and then we'll check it out on feet and go from there. So let's go and check out the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. And here we are guys up close with the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. So before we take a dive into the shoes, I do want to show you guys the box as always here on the size tag. What we got down below is Air Jordan 1 Retro. Style code is 555088126. Color is white, black, and light smoke gray for that retail price of $170. And Nike is consistently using that light smoke gray color on a few other sneakers. Those are going to be linked at the top of this video. I've uh, done reviews on several of those and they're really good shoes and kind of plays into the fact that um, you know, I'm not exactly sure we needed this shoe, but regardless, Nike did such a good job with it. I'm going to start explaining why. As you can see, we got that really nice leather up on the top here for that red with the Wings logo on top. You have this crazy, really nice suede up top as well and going all throughout the rest of the lateral side. The materials on this sneaker are just really nice and the color blocking just looks excellent in all honesty. It looks really, really good in hand and I think it's just a great shoe. This suede on the Nike swoosh in the middle here is all black and then you have that white leather mid panel right behind it all looking really, really nice. You got that gray suede running all the way around the toe box and some more white leather on the toe box itself. And that pretty much rounds out the lateral side, but as you guys can see, just super clean and a really nice looking shoe. Onto the front, you know, the sneaker is right out of the box. I haven't even gotten these laced up for the on feet yet. I always do that kind of with you guys along this video. Um, but at the top of the toe box here, you can see a bit more of the suede. You can hopefully get a better look at the material on that. And then on the toe box here, the really nice leather quality, all the perforations at the top, the black laces, the white tongue running all the way up to the black top tongue tag, and then red Nike Air written at the top. Same on both sneakers, and that is going to round out the front of the sneaker while the shoe is unlaced. On to the medial side now, basically all the same in terms of wrapping around. You can see more of that suede around the toe box, that white mid panel, the black suede swoosh, the suede around the back heel, and then more of this red leather wrapping all the way around. You guys can see how nice that is. And then the black suede up at the top. The only other thing to mention here is the extra laces that I pulled out. There are just a white pair of extra laces included. I think I like the black pair a bit better, but uh, might not be bad to throw those in. Uh, but I think I like the black a little bit better. Onto the back heel now, the classic look of the Air Jordan 1. And you get the um, kind of full picture of all the colors and materials on the sneaker. Starting from that suede up at the top to the leather on the red. And then the mid patch on the back, splitting to the white, black, and then moving down to the gray. You got the white midsole on top of that black outsole. Next up, moving overhead and taking a look down at your feet as you would see them, you know, wearing the shoe as we move a little bit further inside. I want to show you guys the inside of the sneaker and behind the tongue. So on behind, behind the tongue, you have white on the rest of it, the black patch with the red writing, typical of the Jordan 1, the rest of the black laces included inside, the black inner liner, black insole, the Nike Air in red printed on top 
We can get it to focus there, the size tag. And then here's a closer look at the size tag. A little tough to see all of it, but there's, yeah, there's a good shot of the numbers and information. Um, so you guys can check that out there. Otherwise, you know, that wraps out or rounds out the inside of the shoe. Lastly, of course, worth mentioning is the outsole here on the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. Of course, we have the all black, like I mentioned earlier, and just the classic silhouette of the Jordan 1. Nothing really too different here, but just all black. And finally, now we have wrapped up, taking an up-close look at the Smoke Gray Jordan 1. So now it's time to get them laced up, and I'll show you guys how they look on feet with a few different styling options. And now there we have it guys for the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray on feet. So I really don't do this for many shoes and I don't really say this for many shoes, but this one in particular is just so well done. And I think this is literally a 10 out of 10 on feet. I think these things look so good, so clean. And I really like them. I think I'm really impressed with them in person. I was really on the fence with the pictures. You know, I couldn't exactly tell how they are. And you know, always just seeing them in hand is, is so much better to, you know, tangibly understand how they are. And on feet, these things just look so, so good. So I, I'm literally gonna say they're a 10 out of 10, absolutely perfect on feet, and I like them a lot. But if we start to cover a little bit more of the specifics before I give you guys my final overall rating here, the specifics, this is the Air Jordan 1 high silhouette. You know, 170 bucks is the consistent retail price here in 2020. No problems there. Um, you know, I always like to see retail prices cheaper, but you know, it's consistent with everything else. So that's where we're at. In terms of the sizing, I, I typically do recommend true to size, but I generally like to go down a half size on my Air Jordan 1s. Um, but you know, true to size should be fine. I actually have some more sizing information in the Discord link in my description down below. If you guys are over there on Discord, feel free to check that out. Um, the comfort is pretty solid right out of the box, but definitely gets better over time with wear. Air Jordan 1s are a shoe you can wear every single day. 
Um, no matter where you are in the world, wh wherever you are during the summer or winter, it's a shoe I've worn so much and so many times of you know previous colorways, and this one for sure could get a lot of wear. It's just such a clean looking shoe. So all positive from my end. I really like it. As you guys can tell, I think it's a really good shoe. I'd love to know what you guys think. You know, is this a shoe you guys picked up or you know are looking to pick up or are thinking about picking up? You know, maybe watching this video. You know, let me know if I helped you guys one way or another. Kind of figure out how you feel about them. Um, but with all of that being said, it's time to give you guys my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10. Like I said, I think they're per literally perfect on feet. Otherwise, for the full overall opinion, I think I'm going to go a 9.5 out of 10. I'm going to go almost perfect. I don't think I can quite give it the 10 out of 10, but these things are about as close as you can get. These are supply surprisingly really, really good. Like I said, I was kind of on the fence with the pictures. And it's a shoe that I, I wasn't sure we needed from Nike. You know, when I saw the pictures... I wasn't really sure I liked it, wasn't sure we needed it. It looks like kind of a copy of the Union Jordan 1 design, like I mentioned before, but in hand, these things are just too good to not like, and that's just the simple answer here. Um, that's what I'm going with, and again, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I think we have covered everything finally on the Air Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. So, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, and as always, you know, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Other than that, you know, I want to thank you one final time and I will catch you guys again real soon on the next video.